Alright guys, today we're breaking down the brand new 30 years of Wrestlemania trailer, but before we get the gameplay, as you can see here, Roddy Piper is shown in the archive footage, as well as there being a load of Piper shirts included in the crowd, so although he's not confirmed yet, I believe he's got to be announced soon, possibly as DLC, which would explain his exclusion from the Wrestlemania roster. So now, on to some gameplay. First up, we see Shawn Michaels in the ring during his WrestleMania 12 entrance, which is something that we'll get to properly later, as we we'll quickly switch to this shot of Miss Elizabeth, who is included in this year's game as the manager of the Macho Man Randy Savage. This shot actually shows the two celebrating alongside Hulk Hogan following Savage's title win in the final of the WWF Championship Tournament at WrestleMania 4 in which he defeated Ted DiBiase. Next we jump to the more recent times as we see John Cena in his green Rise Above Hate shirt making his entrance at WrestleMania 28 for his match against The Rock. Then we go back in time again to WrestleMania 4 to see the Ultimate Warrior's entrance. Following this we get some footage of the actual matches in the mode, starting out with WrestleMania 3's match between Hogan and Andre, with the effect on the screen done to give the match a classic feel as Hogan shocks the world and body slams Andre, with Bobby Heenan watching on at ringside. Switching to WrestleMania 10 and we'll have the celebration of Razor Ramon following his classic ladder match win over Shawn Michaels for the Intercontinental Championship that comes complete with the old red ladder and the classic referee that we see in all of the older WrestleMania matches. You'll also notice here that Razor is holding two Intercontinental Championship belts, as like I mentioned in a previous video, this was because Razor was the current champion, but Michaels had also claimed to be the champion after he was stripped of the belt earlier in the year, which led this match to crown an undisputed Intercontinental Champion. On to WrestleMania X7, of which you can briefly see the stage in the background, as The Rock delivers the People's Elbow to the Stone Cold Steve Austin in their WrestleMania 15 rematch. Then get ready to have your heart in your mouth as we switch to WrestleMania 24 and see Shawn Michaels deliver sweet chin music to Ric Flair, causing Flair's retirement and seeing Michaels leave the ring as Flair is left with tears streaming down his face, which I have to say it looks fantastic and you can even see the red in his eyes as the tears run down his face. Back to WrestleMania 3 again now and we'll once again see the Macho Man, this time decked out in his entrance attire which looks incredible. 2K Sports have really done a great job at recreating it and also with the physics of how it moves when Savage does, as in past games cloaks and coats have always looked very stiff but the animation on this looks really fluid. We'll also see Steamboat in this clip wearing his entrance attire as he points back at the Macho Man and you'll also notice the WrestleMania car in the background which is still present at ringside. On to the match and we see Savage hit the elbow drop in Steamboat, but you'll notice that the referee is laid out. Now this is really interesting as this scene Savage leave the ring to get the ring bell, which he was then going to use to deliver another elbow drop from the top rope, but he was pushed off the top rope by George the Animal Steel, who hasn't been announced for the game, and Savage went on to hit his head on the ring bell when he fell, which left him groggy, and then it allowed Steamboat to reverse a body slam into a roll up for the win. So this could mean that we'll see Steel included in the game as he played a big part in the finish to this match. WrestleMania 22 is up next and we we'll see Foley hit an edge with a clothesline to send him over the top rope, along with Lita who was actually holding on to Foley's back at the time. Then comes the memorable moment from the match which seen Edge spearing Foley off the ring apron and onto a flaming table at ringside which Lita had set up, so we can now confirm Lita for the game following her inclusion here. The end of an era match comes next and we we'll see Triple H once again taking on The Undertaker, this time inside the Hell in a Cell with Shawn Michaels who sports an alternate referee attire as the guest referee. Judging by this pinfall cutscene it looks like this is the moment that Michaels hit Taker with sweet chin music which was immediately followed up by a pedigree only for a kick out at 2. Back to WrestleMania 28 now and the first match between Cena and The Rock and you'll notice that The Rock has a beard, although he didn't in the roster reveal footage so it appears that we'll have bearded and non-bearded attires. WrestleMania 6 now and we we'll see Warrior and Hogan taking out each other with a double clothesline in their match for Hogan's WWF Championship and Warrior's Intercontinental Championship. Back to WrestleMania 4 and we see more footage of Miss Elizabeth who is hoisted on the shoulders of the Macho Man again in the celebration of his WWF Championship win. Hogan then switches from his red attire, the black and white of the NWO for his match with The Rock at WrestleMania X8 and he delivers his famous leg drop. Then we see more footage of Andre the Giant and his manager Bobby the Brain Heenan who make their way to ringside in the WrestleMania carts that were used at WrestleMania 3 and 4 with the nice authentic touch of having rubbish thrown at them from the crowd. 
Following this, we get some short clips. Firstly, Triple H's entrance at WrestleMania 28. Then Shawn Michaels' high wire entrance from WrestleMania 12, which sees him enter on a zip line for his Iron Man match with Bret Hart. Then it's back to WrestleMania 10 as Diesel, who's working as Michaels' bodyguard, takes out Razor Ramon with a clothesline. Michaels again is up next as he hits a moonsault off the ring apron, missing Ric Flair and crashing straight into the announce table, which gives us a good view of Jim Ross's model for the first time. Then comes Hogan with the classic WWF Championship belt, wearing his yellow trunks and yellow Hulkamania entrance shirt, which is one of at least three Hogan attires that we've seen in the trailer. Speaking of Hogan, the next clip shows Warriors win over him at WrestleMania 6, which had the WWF Championship and the Intercontinental Championship on the line, and you can see both belts here in the background. Austin and The Rock are up next, which appears to be more footage of their WrestleMania X8 match, as Austin delivers the stunner at The Rock, who makes his entrance here at WrestleMania 28 to end the trailer. So that's the breakdown of the trailer. We've got the newly confirmed additions of Lita and Miss Elizabeth to the roster, and the possible addition of George Animal Steel for the role that he played in the Macho Man vs. Ricky Steamboat match. Then there's a confirmation of the WrestleMania mode matches, such as Hogan and Andre, Rock Austin, Michaels and Flair, which, speaking of that match, I love that clip of Flair following the match. I thought that looked awesome, as did a lot of the other clips that were seen, especially Michael's zipline entrance. 2K Sports really seem to have outdone themselves this year. The game is looking absolutely phenomenal. So let me know what you think of the trailer below and I'll be back later with new footage of the game in a preview of what's been announced so far.